So now the first three, Na, Mg, and Al, they have metallic bonds. Okay, so just just your O level stuff. Uh, what was metallic bonds? Metallic bonds was uh, you've got uh, a lattice of metal lines. So you've got a you've got this lattice of metal lines in a sea of free moving electrons. So here's your lattice. Let me arrange them right. And there's going to be a sea of free moving electrons that would be completely delocalized. So metals, they like to lose electrons. So I'm, to, I'm talking about sodium metal over here. So sodium's metallic lattice would look like this. It's positive ions in a sea of free moving electrons. Sodium likes to lose electrons. It's not a very electronegative element. So it loses those electrons very easily. And those electrons are just moving freely. So the way you're going to describe this is that it's a it's a giant metallic lattice. Okay, remember, this is your O-level stuff. So it's a giant metallic lattice. And it's a it's a regular arrangement of positive metal ions in a sea of free moving ions. So regular arrangement of positive metal ions in a sea of delocalized electrons. So that is that is sodium. And then you have magnesium. Magnesium is also going to be a metallic lattice. The only difference between sodium and magnesium would be K it's going to be a similar metallic lattice. Let me just copy this. So it's going to be a very similar metallic lattice. But there's going to be this very tiny difference between sodium and magnesium. Magnesium is in group two. So if I draw the lattice for magnesium, that's sodium. This one is Mg. I said, so the only difference between as I said, so the only difference between them is that magnesium is going to have a charge of plus two. Because it's in group two. And it's going to have more delocalized electrons. Because Mg loses two electrons. Right? And the other thing is that it's going to be slightly smaller as well. You can remember across the period what happens that the size of the ion decreases or the atom decreases because magnesium has more protons. So it attracts those electrons more strongly. So that is what that is what the metallic lattice of magnesium would look like. TK, you clear? Is this clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. And then you have aluminum. So the reason I'm drawing all of them is because you would have to explain why the melting points are increasing. Magnesium has an even higher melting point. And then the last one is uh, aluminum. So aluminum has an even higher melting point compared to the, to the other two. So in aluminum's case, aluminum will have a charge of plus three because it's uh, obviously in it's in group three so it loses three electrons so all of them will have a charge of plus three and it's going to have even more delocalized electrons there's going to be a lot more delocalized electrons in aluminium so plenty of delocalized electrons and it's going to be even smaller. So it's going to be even smaller than the other two. The ions would be even more tightly packed. So the trend, why are the melting points increasing? So what happens when you go from uh, from sodium to magnesium to aluminum, when you go up the group, I mean, across the period, from Na to Mg to Al? Uh, what's happening is, I said, is the metallic bond becoming stronger or weaker? What's What's your... What's your understanding? Um, stronger. Stronger because, because you have more protons. 
ठीक है क्योंकि वट इज अटेलिक बॉन्ड इट्स दी अट्रैक्शन इट्स दी अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन द पॉजिटिव आइन एंड द डीलोकलाइज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लाइक दिस पॉजिटिव आइन ओवर है it's going to attract the delocalized electrons the electrons will attract the positive ions they're all attracting each other so the greater the charge and the greater the number of electrons the more the greater would be the attraction in sodium's case the attraction is going to be a lot lesser plus one is going to attract the electron over here the electron will attract the other ion so because there are fewer electrons and if there's a lot less positive charge so the attraction is going to be lesser so one thing that happens when you move uh, from na to mg to al and that is that you the the charge density increases so that is one so charge density it increases what that means is that you've got uh, one second so what that means is charge density increases you've got uh, more charge on a smaller ion so that is one charge density increases and the second point is just a second yes charge increases and uh, atomic radius decreases matlab you've got a smaller ion theek hai zoha is that is that clear and the second thing is you've got more delocalized electrons so there's obviously going to be stronger metallic bonds uh so the metallic bond strength is coming through so ek second to acha so what happened is you got you because of the two factors the melting points increase stronger metallic bonds are formed So you get a lot stronger metallic bonds. अब इसपे एक चीज है कि ये मुझे बताओ कि अच्छा there's there's one other question अच्छा पता नहीं ये कैसे लाइन लगा ये आप लोगों ने लगा ये just a second annotate ठीक है अच्छा नाउ ये पहला पॉइंट तो क्लियर है ना सारों को कि व्हाई इज़ द मेटालिक बॉन्ड एंड द मेल्टिंग पॉइंट्स इंक्रीजिंग इज़ दैट क्लियर टू एवरीवन अच्छा सो सो द मेल्टिंग पॉइंट्स आर इंक्रीजिंग नाउ द अदर पॉइंट इज अब ये मुझे कोई बताया कि व्हाई इज देर अ बिगर इंक्रीज इन द मेल्टिंग पॉइंट फ्रॉम एन टू एम एंड अ मच स्मॉलर इंक्रीज वेन यू गो फ्रॉम एम टू ए लाइक There's a lot bigger increase when you move from Na to Mg. This can I myself explain? Kar deta. What is happening to the metallic bond strength when you go from Na to Mg, right? So what happens is that the charge and the delocalized electrons they double, like they become they double in. I mean, it goes from plus one to to plus two. and the number of delocalized electrons it was n was losing one electron and mg is losing two electrons so the number of electrons and the and the charge on the ion it doubles is that clear but so that is why there's a big jump when you go from na to mg the metallic bond strength almost doubles but when you go from mg to al it doesn't really double mg or al mein na fark kam hai theek hai mg is plus 2 na is plus 3 so that means it only increases 1.5 times right okay the charges of the charges of al and mg it's not doubling it's it's plus 2 this is plus 3 so the increase is just 50% or 1.5 times 
And the number of electrons, two electrons were lost. Now, in this case, there are three electrons. So the so there's a lot less difference between these two and a lot bigger difference between because double or it's only increasing 1.5 times. So which is why Mg and Al have a lot similar uh, melting point compared to Na and Mg. Mg or Al melting point. If I just Google it, you don't have to remember this. Uh, magnesium melting point, if you just Google that, that's 650. Aluminium would be very similar. So 650 is 660. It's a little different. When Na melting point, that's very low. That's less than 100. 97. Okay, so this is also important that in both of them, they're going to ask you this question. Okay, why are Mg and Al so similar? Because charge it's not doubling. And the number of delocalized electrons, that's also not increasing by a big uh, margin. Whereas in the case of uh, Na, uh, the, the charge and the number of delocalized electrons is a lot lesser compared to the other two. What's your question, Zohar? Why is the melting point higher? Well, I'm assuming that's your question. That, what I mean by that is in the melting points, the difference is huge. Like NA has a lot lesser melting point compared to the other two. So the Difference is that this has a charge of plus one. Uh, so aluminium has a charge of plus three. So that's three times greater, right? So that means the force of attraction is going to be three times more in AL. Or Mg ka kya charge is plus two. So compared to Na, the force of attraction is going to be two times more, right? Double or triple ka far kar hai. Lekin, what about the these two are very similar. In the Noga Beach, it's not doubling. It's you if if this has a charge of plus two, the other one has a charge of plus three. So what is the difference between plus two to plus three? That's that's only a difference of 1.5 times, right? So in Dono lattices, can the, the difference in the charge and the difference in the number of electrons is not that much. So is this point clear compared to NA? charge the difference one hai, lekin, wo dekho na ke, uh, let me explain this uh the times with okay yeah charge here plus one hai, or AL ka charge here it's plus three right so but the charge make it a difference hai. when you move from like if you compare NA and AL, that's a that's three times more right so is that clear so AL is going to be having a lot higher melting point compared to Na because there's a huge difference in charge. So the force of attraction is going to be a lot stronger. But on the other hand, if you AL to compare karo na iske saath, uh, magnesium, ke saath, to I think that the charge ka difference is the only, I mean, this is plus three, this is plus two. So how many times ka fark hai? That's only a difference of 1.5 times, right? This means that in the beach, mein, there's a lot more so, so that basically means these two lattices strength-wise are a lot similar compared to this one. This one is a very weak lattice. Okay, yes, are you clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So, main jo cheez yaad rakhni hai, wo ye yaad rakhni hai ke the strength of the ionic, uh, sorry, metallic lattice increases from, when you move towards aluminium. And these two are very similar. So their strength is, I mean, the melting points are kind of close together. Whereas Na is a lot weaker compared to the other two. These uh, two factors are. Now moving on. The next one. The next one is silicon. What's, uh, what's happening with silicon? Now silicon is a giant covalent structure. It's a macromolecular structure. So if question is, why is silicon? Silicon is like diamond. Silicon has a giant covalent structure, exactly the like diamond. It's going to have, uh, 
it's going to have a tetrahedral structure. And each silicon atom will be bonded to four other silicon atoms. And then they would be bonded to four other silicon atoms. So it's going to be it's going to be a tetrahedral structure and it will just continue endlessly. So silicon obviously, because it's like diamond, it's got it's one of the strongest structures. So the melting point you can it's going to peak at silicon. So silicon is going to have a have a lot higher melting point. Or uh, reason, if they ask you in this paper, so you're going to mention the giant covalent structure. So that is the reason why the melting points are high. So you need large amounts of energy needed to break many covalent bonds. So that's needed to break uh, the large number of covalent bonds. Exactly the same reasoning as diamond. I said, then you have the next thing is uh, the last four. What's what's happening to their melting points? Like their melting points are really low. And the reason is they all have simple molecular lattices. Okay. You share link. No, sir, Puri. Lurkiti maybe. So you didn't share the link. She Luna... just left it. She left Haan. the group. Haan, lekin, Sir, we didn't share the link. We didn't class in our class. Okay, now I'm going to share the link. Where did you reach the link? Sir, we don't know. Sir, you can share it in your group. And she was the host. Huh? I wrote in front of me that she was the host. Yeah. Host, host, host. Nee, do host ho Achai, hai, Achai, se, uh, class here. Uh, nee, Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I think we have one more question. Yeah. Ye kaam she, kar... left the, huh? she left the class. You can, she, she left the class. You can continue. I said, I'm going to continue. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to कि हम वेटिंग रूम में बैठे हुए हैं अपना नाम लिख के ठीक है ओके अच्छा चलो ये कहां पे थे हम सिंपल मॉलिक्यूलर ठीक है सिंपल मॉलिक्यूलर में के सिंपल मॉलिक्यूलर में सिंपल मॉलिक्यूल्स होते हैं छोटे-छोटे ठीक है तो ये जो लास्ट फोर है ना दे ऑल स्मॉल टाइनी मॉलिक्यूल्स दिस आर क्लोरीन है तो मॉलिक्यूल्स में क्या होता है व्हेन यू हैव अ सिंपल मॉलिक्यूलर लैटिस तो उसमें इंटरमॉलिक्यूलर फोर्सेस होती हैं तो ये जो आखिरी है ना दे आर ऑल ऐसे दे ऑल सिंपल मॉलिक्यूलर और दिस अ क्लोरीन का मॉलिक्यूल है तो क्लोरीन का मॉलिक्यूल बस यहां पे खत्म हो जाता है और कोई बॉन्ड नहीं बनाता तो दूसरा क्लोरीन का मॉलिक्यूल है तो इनके बीच में आपस में कौन सी अट्रैक्टिव फोर्स होगी व्हाट इज द अट्रैक्टिव फोर्स सो दैट्स गोइंग टू बी वैंडरवाल्स फोर्सेस सो दे ऑल गोइंग टू हैव वैंडरवाल्स फोर्सेस एंड वैंडरवाल्स फोर्सेस आर वीक सो इफ यू हैव एन एस8 मॉलिक्यूल 
the S8 molecules are also going to have Van der Waals forces. Phosphorus has P4. I mean, just like chlorine is diatomic, it's Cl2. Remember, sulfur is a S8. Phosphorus is P4. And you've got another one, which is argon. Argon is uh, just argon. Argon is monatomic. So you have to remember the formula of the molecules. So remember the formula that phosphorus is going to be P4. And they're all going to have Van der Waals forces. Which one out of the four is going to have the greatest Van der Waals forces? Sulfur. Sulfur. Okay. Van der Waals forces, okay, the bigger the molecule, the greater would be the Van der Waals forces. So, so this one has a bigger molecule because there are eight atoms in the molecule. So you've got a bigger molecule. So it's going to have more Van der Waals forces. So if it has more Van der Waals forces, uh, that means, uh, so that means it's going to have a higher boiling point. So, and which one out of the four is going to have the least Van der Waals forces out of the four? Um, CL? No, CL is Argon. Yeah. So this one is the smallest one, TK. Well, the mass is 32, phosphorus is 31, argon is uh, argon is 38, I think. Chlorine is 35.5. So the rest are kind of kind of the same. As anyways, this is the smallest and uh, it's going to have the least Van der Waals forces. So you be question out in Cooper, okay, why are the boiling points varying? Like, I mean, although they are the same, to graph and then they're going to ask you, uh, they're, going to, they're going to ask you, okay, why is sulfur having, I mean, all of them have low melting points uh, but why is sulfur having greater uh, melting point? Because it has Van der Waals forces. And the bigger the molecule, it increases with size. So sulfur has a bigger molecule, which is why it's going to have greater Van der Waals forces, which is why the melting point is going to be higher. And argon is going to have the lowest melting point because it's a smaller molecule. And because of the smaller size, the Van der Waals forces are going to be less. Tiki, you clear Yes. Achha, ab, so just remember, I'm, I'm just going to go through this. Uh, the first three are metallic. This one is giant covalent. These are molecules. These are simple molecules, covalent molecules, because they're non-metals. Metallic, and I gave you the reasons why the melting points are increasing, uh, because uh, you have greater charge, and there's more delocalized electrons. So the force of attraction is more, and the metallic bonds are stronger. These two are kind of similar to each other in strength wise. This one is a lot weaker. Uh, silicon is giant covalent, that's why. And simple molecules, they have Van der Waals forces. DK, is this clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a very quickly electric conduction. Uh, I don't, I mean, that's self explanatory that uh, uh, NAMGL conduct electricity. Why do they conduct electricity? Because they are metals and they have electrons. Because of free moving. A sea of, electrons. a sea of electrons or free moving electrons or delocalized electrons, right? So that's why they conduct electricity. Uh, silicon is a semiconductor. It's usually a non-metal. It doesn't really conduct, but you can uh, make it into a conducting material. You make chips out of it. Uh, and the other ones are non-metals. They don't conduct at all. Uh, sure, how can you make silicon a conductor? So, Spritha, when you talk about conductions, right, what happens when you move across the period? Uh, what happens to the electronegativity of the atom when you move across the period? Increases. It increases. So, which is why the left side, that's your metals, right? So, metals, they like to lose electrons. So, they have delocalized electrons because they lose electrons very easily. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I said, but the ones on the right side, they hold on to the electrons very strongly. So, which is why they're very poor conductors.
because because they're not going to lose their electrons that easily is that clear so yes sir so ab silicon jo na that somewhere in the middle so remember middle mein na wo transition start hoti hai i mean these ones they have uh, their metals uh, in their structure they lose electrons so they've got a lot of delocalized electrons which is why they're conducting electricity silicon is somewhere between a metal and a non metal it's more non metallic compared to its metallic properties but silicon if you apply a certain uh, potential or emf on it it will lose electrons and there would be delocalized electrons is that clear wo phir yes phir right ki taraf jaate ho to nucleus mein you have more protons to to phir if you have more protons then you hold on to the electron hold on to your electrons you don't lose them so which is why they don't they don't conduct they don't let the electrons to freely move around तो सिलिकॉन जो है ना वो पार्शली अंडर सर्टन सर्कमस्टांसिस वो पी डोपिंग और एन डोपिंग होती है फिजिक्स में यू कैन काइंड ऑफ मेक इट अ कंडक्टिंग मटेरियल और नॉन कंडक्टिंग सो यू मेक चिप्स आउट ऑफ इट तो तो माइक्रोस्कोपिक माइक्रोस्कोपिक भी नहीं नैनो स्केल के ऊपर यू कैन मेक सर्किट्स आउट ऑफ इट सो सिलिकॉन का बस याद रखो इट्स इट्स अ सेमी कंडक्टर दैट्स अबाउट इट एंड यू मेक चिप्स आउट ऑफ इट बाकी फिर कर लेंगे The rest is just simple reactions. What happens when you react with water? So we'll just go over them in the next class. We'll probably be done with this. Uh, this is just one page. That is uh, period three. So वो इसमें बस थोड़ी सी explanation थी. बाकी तो बस simple reactions and what happens when the oxides react with water. You just have to memorize. So we'll go over that in the next class. ठीक है? और ये मैं भेज रहा हूँ आपको. ये मैं भेज रहा हूँ. ये notes में भेज रहा हूँ आपको. ठीक है? वो explanations जो है ना वो add कर देना notes में. चलें ओके ठीक है सर सेंड अप के मार्क्स वो भी मैं भेज रहा हूँ ठीक है ओके सर ओके लाफ़ेस